Terus Rian So that we can finish the more uh, as we discussed earlier when we were looking at the indices, the uh, the yen is the strongest currency so far. Uh, not fundamentally, I don't, I'm not, but at least we do, we don't have the intervention as of yet in the yen like what we're having in the uh, Swiss, but. We are going to uh, identify where we are going to uh, trade it. And as you can see here, for the last, number one, we didn't trade below the structure point, which is the 76.37. We did actually take it out. We did make a new low here, 76.29. Seventy-six thirty. Wow, I stand corrected. Oops, this is quite interesting. We have made, actually, we have tested the all-time low in the dollar in the dollar yen. This is not a buy signal, guys, by any stretch of the imagination yet. But we can have a buy signal based at 76.73. We close the week at 76.68. So that we're still on the short side. We're biased to the short side. We're going to stay looking at taking it short. But if the dollar yen trades above 76.75, we're going to see that on the intraday chart, that would be actually our buy signal. So we have a very close buy, buy signal. And if you look here on your intraday, you'd see that it's already, the, the, it has been detected on the software that it is 76.70. I mean, if you look at it, so we're just by two ticks. So that's actually a pretty good setup for us to buy the. Uh, so we can, right now, it closed the week. I mean, the market side is 76.71. Uh, so just to be on the safe side. We are going to take the buy above 76.80. That's going to be our buy point. And we're going to place our stop below the 76.70 right here. So we're going to be using a very tight stop. Buying point is going to be 76.88, which is this momentum high, if you will. And if we do, we're going to place our stop, a pretty tight stop below the 76.60. So we're, we're really not risking too much on that trade. Uh, on the long side, on the that's the uh, long side. On the short side, uh, we will take it below this daily low. I mean, if it goes below the 76.50, then at least we have to make an attempt at taking it short. Because again, this is an old time low, and if it does break, it will actually give us an explosive move. And you need to keep an eye on this point if it does break the 76.30. So you have your selling point 76.5, and your structure short 
again we leave it at the 76.37 which is the all time low it's pretty tight oh. and your structure long in this case is going to be your 80 49 which is this structure point but let me double check it uh, yeah I mean the, it's actually the seven the next structure point is the 79 52. Next structure long point is the seventy nine fifty two. All right. Uh, so we're going to buy the uh, dollar yen above the seventy six eighty, which is this high, seventy six eighty eight, which is this intraday high. And if we do buy it right there, we're going to place our stop below the. 7660. Uh, our structure long is the 7952, which is about 100 pip, 200 pips above our entry point. On the short point, we're going to sell it below 7650, and we have a structure with the all time low around the 7637, so we, ha we have at least 20 pip cushion. And if we take it short below the 7650, you're going to place your stop right above the 76, uh, 70 as your stop on the short side. And in this case, guys, because the yen is at an all-time low and the dollar, I'm sorry, the dollar is an all-time low, you are not going to give it too much room. If it does break the all time low, you want to take it to the downside and you're going to keep an eye and a reference point. You're only looking for liquidation. Okay? You're only looking for liquidation. If you don't get liquidation, get the hell out of there. Okay. Uh, that is the dollar.